What's up YouTube X, Walshy1009 here, and today I'm going to teach you how to play music on your Apple Watch. So, you cannot actually play music from your music library through your Apple Watch speakers, but there is a workaround, it doesn't work too well, and when you put your wrist down, and the um, display turns off when you put your wrist down, um, playback does stop. But this is just, uh, this is to prove that you can play music on your Apple Watch. It's just you got to do a couple things, work around it, and you should be good to go. So what I realized today is that in the Voice Memos app, I can, of course, send a voice memo to my friends via the I, via iMessage. So let me just put in my passcode for Apple Watch. And I'm going to show you something. So here I got the blue sport um, 42 millimeter and if we go to the messages application and as you can see I'm in the messages app and here are a couple voice memos and here's a song that I sent myself before it's um, aw and then this uh, shit basically dot m4a and if I tap on it it starts playing. Now that's not coming from my iPhone speakers because I'm using it. I'm using my iPhone to record this video, but it's actually coming from these speakers. And if you just noticed, when I cover the display and turn the display off, the music stops playing. But this does show that, in to some extent, that you can play music on your Apple Watch, and it is possible. It's not the best way around it, but it does prove that if you set it down and just want to play a couple of minutes or something without going to your phone or something and you're just in the study and you put your Apple Watch to the side and just play a song, you can do this. Now, as I said, it's not the best way. It involves the Messages app and it involves a conversion program. So what you'll be needing for this um, workaround is either a Mac or a PC. I am going to be using both for this tutorial, but it is possible to only use one computer, PC or Mac for this tutorial. You don't need both operating systems. That's how I'm going to show you it today. Of course, you need your Apple Watch and you need your iPhone as well, um, just in case. So, without further ado, let's get on with the tutorial. So, here we are in the Windows 8 environment as you can see I'm recording on my Windows computer and as I said you only actually need one um, operating system to do this so you don't have to have a Windows computer and a Mac but that's how I'm doing it today um, to show you that you can do either both or one only so before getting music on your Apple Watch there's a couple things you need to do on your computer first off you need to choose your song so in this case we're going to go with um, Concerning the UFO sighting near by Illinois, just a nice song that my cousin suggested to me a while back. And that's the file I did before um, to convert, so we're going to delete that one. Now, at the moment, this is in MP3 state, and what I noticed when I did the voice memos um, experiment, where I messaged myself a voice memo and was able to play it back on Apple Watch, is that it was in a .m4a um, for file format. Now you may not have to do it in a .m4a file format and if you end up doing it in mp3 and it ends up working for you then that's great. But to be on the safe side and make sure everything works fine you want to make sure that you convert it to a .m4a format. Now how do you do that exactly? Well you go and get this program called Format Factory. I will have a download link for it down below and once you install it and all that you should get this interface. Now you should be able to simply get your song over here and drag it into the program. And it's going to ask you, hey, what do you want to convert this to? So we're going to convert it to a .m4a. And if your song's already .m4a, I suggest you do it again just to be on the safe side. And now it's conversion states .m4a. You can simply hit start. Now this process, depending on your computer, should only take a minimum couple seconds and that song starts to play. Just letting you know that the um, conversion is done. Now, as I said, um, it should take anywhere from a couple seconds to a minute at max. It's not really that hardcore of a task for your computer to do, even if it's pretty old. So, what you'll want to do is that you're going to want to hit 
open output folder, not the source, because that's what we just converted. We want to go to the output folder, the end product. And as you can see, it says format factory 01 and then the original um, song title. Now your file size should only go up a little bit in the song. So for example, the original was 4.24 megabytes and the converted one is now 5. So we're just going to call this AW test. And now we're done. So now you're thinking, all right, I've got this converted file. What do I do now exactly? Well, what you do is that you go to a cloud-based um, storage thing. So you can either email the file to yourself or you can put it in Google Drive or Dropbox. That's what I found easiest. So what we're going to do is that we're going to open up Google and we're going to go to the Google Drive and this Google Drive has all my stuff in it so pardon the um, the amount of crap in here so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna get our converted file and drag and drop into Google Drive now you can use other th method methods for example you can use Dropbox and Dropbox it over you can email it to yourself through Gmail or your iCloud email. You just want to make sure that if you're using any of these services, you want to make sure that you're able to iMessage the file to yourself in the end. So if you're going to Dropbox it to yourself, make sure you're able to open it up on your iPhone and um, share it in the Messages app and send it to yourself. If you're using Google Drive, you might want to open it up on your Mac and iMessage it through your Mac. Just make sure that if you're going to do one of these services by emailing it to yourself putting it in a cloud-based storage server that you're able to iMessage the file to yourself in the end because iMessaging it is what you'll actually be able to do so that you can actually play the file you need iMessage for this pretty much and every iPhone that works with Apple Watch does have iMessage so as you can see this file is now uploading in the corner it's about halfway so I will come back once it's done. Okay guys I'm back and as you can see now the AW test file has now officially been uploaded and ready to use. Wherever you want to put it in your Google Drive or your Gmail or wherever you've put it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to actually get this to iMessage and then message the file to ourselves so that we're able to do playback on Apple Watch. So I'm going to transfer over to the Mac and I'll be right back. Alright, so now that we're in the Mac environment, and remember you do not need Mac and PC to do this, I'll show you the second method in a second. But the first method is to do this. If you're ever on the Mac and you've just emailed the file to yourself in Format Factory, you can also get on the Mac, I believe. All you have to do now is go to your, in my case, the Google account I was using. So this is my Gmail, which I do not need to use. I need to go to my Google Drive instead. There we go. And I got other tabs up there, so please excuse me. I'm just keeping tabs on other crap. So here's our awtest.m4a file we just um, converted and put into the drive. And we're going to hit download on that, and of course it's going to do its scanning for virus, viruses, just in case I corrupted the file or put anything bad in it. And we're just going to save it to our desktop. And as you can see, it was pretty much an instant download. It was only, wasn't a huge file size, it was only a small file size. And that's all you need for the browser and your Google, in case we did just use Google Drive. And now you can see here that I got my awtest.m4a file. You want to make sure it's m4a as I said before, because you just want to be on the safe side and make sure that it can be played back on Apple Watch. So what you'll want to do is that I have, I have my iMessage down here in the corner. I only have the messages part because I don't want you seeing my other contacts names. So what you're going to do is just simply, well, if you haven't opened Messages yet, you'll just open Messages, bring up yourself, um, compose a message to yourself, preferably your iMessage email or number, and simply drag and drop the file. It will come up with um, what you've put in, AW test, and we're just going to send that off. And now, that's going to start sending off. As you can see, I did my test before, and this one, this new one we're doing is AW test. And as you can see, the blue bar is slowly but surely going across. My internet upload speed isn't the greatest. So once this is sent through, I will be right back. Okay, so once you've sent the file through, in our case we've sent it through on the Mac, you can do it on your Apple Watch. Now the second method would be to do it on something like an iPad. 
This is also the same for the iPhone as the um, My Drive app is kind of the same. But in case for Google Drive, you just um, tap on the file. Um, actually, you don't do that, sorry. You hit on the little info icon, hit open in, it will load for a bit. And then eventually when it pops up, you'll get a little um, prompt saying you can open the file and messages right there and you'll be able to message it through to yourself. It may take a while to, um, since iMessage syncs up all the time, it may take a while for the files to sync around, but eventually it will come to your iPhone. And once it comes to your iPhone, it should get to the watch. Now, how to get to the song that you've just transferred to the watch. You go in, um, in my case, got to put in the passcode again, sorry. There we go. And click, we go to the Messages app, go to what you've sent to yourself, in our case, um, it's AW test, see and focus in on that, there we go, and tap on that, and you'll start playing. Now, the song doesn't sound, like the music doesn't sound too good on the watch, because of course it is mono audio, meaning there's one channel of audio, so sometimes it doesn't sound as great as um, with two channel audio, but you expect that only having one speaker on the device. Now, of course, if you cover up the display, it's going to stop the song. Now, this is the only way, as far as I'm concerned, to play music on your Apple Watch. Um, this is the closest you'll get for now. Meaning, if you try to go into the music app and play music through the watch, you can't do that at the moment. But this is the closest you'll get to doing so on your watch. So, guys, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe just once again. Put in my passcode. Um, make sure you leave a comment down below on what you thought of this tutorial. Do you reckon you'll use it as just a bit of a gimmick in the meantime to play songs on your Apple Watch? Um, let me know, of course. But once again, thank you guys for watching, and as always, have a nice day.